this service metadata is nothing but information of about something so here it is the information about the service so information about the service is not available even though service is available so if you want to make the information of about service available there are two steps that are required first of all you need to add this behavior so i'll copy this behavior service behavior that is nothing but i want to make service metadata enabled http get enabled so i'll just copy this and i'll put it in host web config file in service model and second step is this behavior name i need to give it to the service attribute that is behavior configuration i'll copy this and i'll paste it in service so behavior configuration name is my service type behavior that is my service type behavior i have said service metadata http get enabled to now i'll save this now i'll just right click and i'll say browse with chrome now you see that you have created a service and it is available and your wsdl is also available web service description language so i have hosted the service on this endpoint so this is my endpoint endpoint contains address and binding i am using basic http binding and contract is i multiplication service now i need to create a client so i'll be creating a client right click add new website asp.net empty website and i'll name it as mul service client cld i'll say okay so here you have web config file which is empty as of now now i'll just right click and i'll say add service reference so i'll simply click on discover it is going to gather the information from the solution and mul service and i'll name it as mul service reference I'll say okay now you see that it has added an endpoint over here same address binding and contract contract is i multiplication service now i'll add a page form i'll name it as multiplication form stick a button in this button click i want to invoke that service so first of all i need to add the reference that is multiplication service reference then i'll say multiplication service client so this is the proxy class that it has created multiplication service client equals to new multiplication service client now here in this parameter i'm going to pass name of the endpoint name of the endpoint is this basic http binding underscore i multiplication service so i'm going to create an instance at that particular endpoint and finally i'm going to call as a response dot write msc dot multiply and i'm going to pass two parameters 5 and 5 that's it i have placed a breakpoint here and i have also placed a breakpoint in the service now let us make this project as a startup project and this page as startup page there is nothing but our client and i'll just right click this and i'll say browse the service host is up and running i want to check that so it is up and running now i'll execute this 
So now I'm going to create the instance of this service client that is nothing but proxy class and I'm going to call that method so it is going to jump into my service and it is going to write 25 so that's it this is all about your endpoint the simplest way what an endpoint is and we are going to dig into endpoint in future classes no worries so as of now the basic understanding of endpoint it is nothing but address binding and contract the client endpoint and the host service host endpoint must match address binding and contract now you should see a difference in contract you have service library as namespace so this is server side namespace and in client you should see multiplication service reference so this is client side namespace but this contract name is same i multiplication service here and i multiplication service here so service endpoint or the host this endpoint and the client endpoint must match now because of that endpoints they interact with each other so hope you might have enjoyed this video so that's it for this video thank you very much